Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to show you guys how we can create a multiple choice quiz in Ruby. So we're going to use some of the stuff that we've learned so far in this course, like classes, we're going to use loops, we're going to use variables and if statements in order to create a multiple choice quiz. Basically, we're going to be asking the user a series of questions. The user is going to input whatever answers they think are correct. We'll grade the test and we'll tell the user how they did. So this is going to be pretty fun. First thing I want to do is talk to you guys about some stuff that I already have set up. First thing I did was I wrote out a few questions for our multiple choice test. Down here I have P1, P2, and P3, and these are all basically prompts. So this is what we're going to prompt the user with, and we're going to ask them the question. So over here it says, what color are apples, red, purple, or orange? What color are bananas, pink, red, or yellow? What color are pears? yellow, green, orange. So this is a really easy multiple choice test, just asking about the colors of different fruits. Over here, I've defined a class called question. And this is basically modeling a question in our program. So I've essentially created like a question data type. And down here, we have these attribute accessors. So we're defining a question has a prompt and an answer. So the prompt is basically what we're asking the user. So it would be like, for example, all these questions down here. And then the answer is the actual answer to the question. So like we're giving them a prompt that has a bunch of different options, multiple choices. The answer is going to be like what the actual answer is. And then we have this initialize method, which will just initialize the uh, object. So we can create like questions inside of our program now. So what I want to do is I want to create an array of questions. And we're going to have one question for each of the prompts that we have up here. So I'm actually just going to create a, an array. We're going to call it questions. And I'm just going to set it equal to uh, a bunch of different questions. So actually, inside of this array, we can create a couple different questions. So I'm going to say question.new. And I'm going to create this first question. So remember, we need to give this a prompt and we need to give it an answer. So for the first question, I'm going to pass it P1 as the prompt because this is the prompt for the first question. And I want to give it the answer. So the answer to what color are apples is going to be A, red. So I'm just going to pass in an A. Now I can create another question. So you'll notice over here, I can just create a question by saying question.new, and then I can pass in the initial information. So I'm going to say question.new, and now we'll make one for P2 for that second prompt. It says what color are bananas, and the answer is going to be C, yellow. So we'll put a C inside of here. And finally, we'll make another question. And this is going to be P3. And the answer to what color are pairs is going to be B green. So we're going to go ahead and put a B in here. Essentially, what I've done is I've created three questions in my program. And I've stored them inside of this array called questions. So we have an array that stores all the questions for our test. Now the next step is we need to actually be able to run the test. So what I want to do is I want to be able to go through each of the questions in the test. I want to be able to ask the user the question. I want to be able to get their answer. And I want to figure out whether or not they got the answer right. So what we can do is we can actually create a method. So why don't we create a method that will run the test? So this method will accept one parameter, which is going to be an array of questions. It will use those questions to run the test. And it'll basically like ask the user all the questions, figure out what their answers were, and score and grade the test. So let's do that. Down here, I'm going to create a method, and we're just going to call it run test. And this method is going to take one parameter. So it's going to be an array of questions. So we could say questions. And we're just going to call the parameter that we pass in questions. And we can go ahead and end off this method. Now, inside of this method, we want to do a few things. The first thing we want to do is basically just loop through and ask the user all the questions. So what I want to do is create a variable called answer. And I'm just going to set this equal to the empty string initially. And what we're going to do is we're going to store all of the user's answers inside of that answer variable. So like we'll store you know, the answer to the first question, the second question, the third question, etc. Now, what we want to do is we want to loop through all of the questions inside of this questions array. So I'm going to create a loop. I'm just going to say for question in questions. So for each question inside of this questions array, I want to do something. And down here, we'll just end this off. Now, inside of here, essentially what I want to do is ask the user the question. 
So I'm basically gonna say puts and I'm gonna print out the prompt. So I can say puts question dot prompt. So remember, this is gonna be an array of question objects. And the question class has two attributes. It has a prompt and it has an answer. So essentially what I'm doing down here is I'm printing out the prompt for the current question that we're looping through. Once I've printed out the prompt, I can get the input from the user. So I can just say answer is equal to gets dot chomp. And this is basically just going to get whatever the user enters and it's going to store it inside of answer. Now, what we need to do is we need to be able to keep score. So we need to be able to keep track of how many questions the user gets right and how many they get wrong. So I'm going to create another variable up here called score and I'm going to set this equal to zero initially. And whenever a user gets a question right, we're going to increment the score. So every time they answer the question correctly, score will get incremented and by the end of the of the test, we'll be able to tell how many questions they got right. So down here, I want to check to see if the answer that they gave is equal to the correct answer. So I can just say if answer is equal to and now I want to compare this to the answer to the question. So I can say question dot answer. And remember, this is just another attribute from inside of that questions class. So down here, I'll just end this off. And if the answer is equal to question dot answer, then I can basically just increment the score variable. So I can say score plus equals one, and that will increment the score. Now, finally, down here after this for loop, I'm just going to print out how they did. So I'll say puts and we'll basically just say like you got however questions out of however right. So we'll basically be like puts you got score out of and now we're just going to type out the total number of questions. So we can say questions dot length. And this is just going to tell us how many questions were inside of that questions array. So this is obviously a lot of code. And you know, this run test method is obviously a lot of code. But everything looks like it's right. So why don't we try to run this and we'll see how we do. So remember, whenever we're going to get input from the user, we always want to use the command prompt or the terminal to do that. So I'm going to open up my terminal. And I'm going to go ahead and run this Ruby file. So I'm just going to say Ruby draft.rb because that's the name of the file. And we'll run this. And so actually, whoops, totally forgot we have to call this run test method. So I didn't actually call this run test method. So I need to do that. So let's come down here and we're just going to call it. So I'm just going to say run test. And we're just going to pass in that questions array. So we're passing in the array of questions that we created up here. We're passing in this guy. And actually, you know what, there's one more thing we have to change. So down here, I'm printing out the score, I have to say dot to s. So we're converting the score into a string, and we're gonna have to do the same down here. So I'll just say dot to s. And now that we have this, we can actually run our program from inside of the terminal. So let's go ahead and do that. So here in the terminal, I'm just going to run this file, I'm going to say Ruby draft rb. And you'll see it's asking us the first question. So it says, what color are apples? So let's just try to get them all right. I'm going to say apples are a red, what color are bananas, let's say C yellow, what color are pears, let's say B green. And so you can see here, once we entered in all the answers, it typed out you got three out of three correct. So it's actually telling us how many of these we got correct. And that's pretty awesome. So let's try this again, but let's try to get some wrong. So I'm going to run this same exact file. And let's get the first one wrong, we'll say apples are purple, we'll get the second one wrong, we'll say bananas are pink, and we'll get the third one right. So we'll say pears are green. So now it's going to say you got one out of three, because we only got one out of three questions correct. So that's basically how we can build a little multiple choice test. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.